and I'm recording. All right. Um, I, can, I can go back if you want me to and just finish finish up the last thought of that question. So the Smithfield in 60, we designed videos that just talked about events that were going on in town. Um, we are going to pick those back up because COVID um, basically sent the whole town, you know, dark for a while. Um, those those videos that we created, I, I would actually go to lunch and have people stop me and say, hey, you're the guy on that video. Thanks for letting me know about, you know, what's going on. Um, we, we averaged in the uh, 10 or 12 that we did before COVID shut us down of about 3,000 views um, every week. Um, we, we did hear from people who had events that we talked about um, on those videos that they saw an increase in the amount of participants versus the same same event that they held last year. Whether that was your direct result of us or not, you have no way to really measure that. We think we think that maybe we had a little bit to do with it and you know we're glad to help. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to promote the town. Like I said, tell tell the story of Smithfield. And um and we did win a statewide award for those. So that was really cool. Well I wanna give Brian a little kudos. Um, you know, obviously we're a municipality and municipalities, as far as when it comes to employees, we usually don't have a whole lot of fluff or additional manpowers. Well, a lot of businesses, you're doing more with less. Mm -hmm. But like Brian was saying is that he is a brand new person in that position. Like this position was created and he's the first person to be in it. So he is truly setting the stage of what that position can do for the whole town. Yeah. And when it comes to marketing thing, and he's talking about social media, really outside of the town, you know, a lot of people don't look at it as places to do, meaning that, yes, you can pay for your utilities, you get your electric rates, um, you know, you have police, you have fire and things like that but there's a lot of events and community things that people aren't aware of. And that's where Brian has stepped up. And when you're talking about social media is within the town before he got here, I think us at the Recreation Aquatic Center were really the only ones, I may be wrong, that were using social media on a regular basis. But what yeah. he did is he came in and try and, tell, try and tell the story is that how you are to be more consistent is that instead of just when you're at something, you take a picture and you post it or something, it's, it's be more prepared for it and plan for it in right. advance and that you're getting a consistent message across all the time. And those little, was it town in 60 seconds is, I mean, that's yeah. been great for the town. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. And it's literally a 60 second video, but it's so informative, but a lot of people would have no idea what's going on in the town. Yeah. As I think, it's, uh, um, I think it's also one of the best times to be a sport market. I mean, any marketing director, any 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 person that kind of ha has something to do with marketing of or promotional side of their um, uh, their organization or agency uh, in this in this time right now because we have so many so many platforms to share your things on. There's so many things. And, and a big population use social media. Like I know people that are 80, 85 years old that use Facebook. Oh yeah. That are still active every day. And I mean, those are, I mean, believe it or not, but I mean, I think that those are the people that you actually want to reach out to in, in like a, like a recreation leisure leisure, because like they're the ones that are at home most of the time. They have time, they have the, the, I, most of them have the have the will to go out so and you you provide that stuff for them so i think it's it's a really good time to be a, a, a marketer or a, or a person that because you have so many platforms and so many so many people to reach out to and that can mm -hmm. help you from, from the recreation aspect is that i mean an older maybe a widow or widower but from recreation aspect, it's not just your physical health working out or doing anything, but a lot of it's just social. And that's the thing we've had the most with people coming back is they come in the first or second time and they're really not doing anything. They're just talking. 
because it's people they develop yeah, yeah. relationships and they haven't been able to see them or talk to them or catch up. So, you know, right now they're still transitioning into getting back into the regular routine. Um, but it's, yeah. it's, it's been tough. It's been tough, but you know, it's just as much social and mental as it is physical. Yeah, yeah. Once, once everything go, goes back to normal, I think it's going to blow up the social aspect of it. I think everything is just going to blow up. Every, everybody's going to want to go out. Everybody's going to want to go mm -hmm. somewhere. Um, and it's going to kind of help uh, everything out too. So. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so Mr. Brian, um, I think I have just one more question for you and then one more question for Mr. Dale. Um, yeah. Then we can wrap it up. Um, so uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, what is your greatest personal struggle or limitation um, is supervising others? Can you meet, um, can you give me an example of a time that you uh, overcome or uh, one of your limitations and resolve the problem? Um, you know, I, th I think when, when you're, when you're in marketing, what you always want to do is make your product, your service, your, your town. But for me, you always want to, you always want to put that at the forefront and I, I'll keep it on Smithfield and 60 just a little bit because, you know, when we were developing this idea, this actually came from another, the idea that, that I had for the videos came from a previous job in which I did something similar. Um, but in order to do it the way that we, that I had envisioned it, I was out front talking about everything that's going on in town. That's tough for me. Uh, I, don't, I don't want the credit. The town should get the credit for what's going on. It, it's nice for somebody to say, hey, I saw you on that video. I was able to check out the event. Hey, you're the guy who does the video. I want to be the guy who does the video just because I do the video, but I don't want to be Mr. Smithfield, you know, for somebody, for lack of a better term, I don't want to be the guy who's known. He, I just want to tell you what's going on in town and I want you to be able to take advantage of it. And I think in order to do that, you just have to, yeah. you have to show the passion for what you believe in. That's kind of hard for me because I, I would rather be, you know, even, even, even right now on zoom, I'd rather be over here. You know, I, I don't want to be in front of the camera but we found out that that works, you know? And so you figure out what works and then you try to do it as best as you can. I think that's, I, I think that's the hardest thing to try to overcome. Um, for a marketer, you, you really just want to know, the biggest thing that you want to know is your customer. You want to know who they are. You want to know how old they are. Um, if, if, you're, if you're selling a product, you want to know if you're in marketing, you want to know how to price that product to, to make sure that you meet all those objectives and be able to sell something. Well, for us, it is our, knowing our customer and knowing they want what they want to receive and what they want to hear. And then you just want to give it to them. You know, Facebook is an older social media driven now. You know, it used to, you know, when it was first out, it was for everybody. And now, the younger generation shifts more towards Twitter, the Instagram, the TikTok, and that kind of stuff. Um, but Facebook plays a big role in what we do because we have an older clientele. You know, as far as what we're doing in the town of Smithfield, it is families. It is the mom and dad who have the two kids that want to take them out to a fall festival or want to take them to the Christmas parade or our ham and yam festival that we do every year. And they want, they want to know about it. And if you're not giving it to them, they're not going to figure it out. But we can also take that same message and present it a little bit differently on Twitter and Instagram to get them back and, and to keep them engaged too. Please, please, the next Smithfield and 60, wear like a Superman shirt and you can be Mr. Smithfield. Yeah, you're talking about just like unzip and just do please. that? Please, yes. I'll be Cam Newton. Yes, please. <laughs>
<laughs> then you would then I promise you we'll get clicks and likes then. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Do that for me. No, I have to let you do it, man. You're better at that stuff. You're better at that than I am. I have to uh, let you do it. <laughs> but Paul, touching off what he said, I think I think he he hit on a big thing is that anytime you're marketing or promoting a service is knowing your target because you can't be something for everyone unless you're Walmart. But I mean, you know, you can't, I mean, it's impossible. So really if you're targeting, you know, the, the husband and wife or, and two kids and that's your target, then you target those. If you're trying to go for 65 and older, you've got to know who your target population is. Yeah. Uh, okay, so just last question for you, Mr. Dale. Um, tell me how you organize, plan, and prioritize your work. Um, <laughs> do you see all that? <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. Um, it's obviously, we, we touched on earlier, when I said delegating, it's mm -hmm. not that I can't do it or I won't do it, but it's truly there are things that have to get done. Yeah. And and I hate to say it, but in my calendar, I could be at home tonight and I may think of something and I'll put it in my calendar as a to-do list that yeah. I need to do that tomorrow. And my whole intentions are coming in that day and taking care of that. But when you're dealing with the public, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah. When you're dealing with employees, you don't know what's going to happen. So it's really, you can be as organized as you want to, but you've also got to be able to have that flexibility because if it was just in an office setting, you could probably plan and organize a little more. But when we're seeing right now, hundreds of people, where sometimes it's thousands of people on a daily basis, you can't, you, you have to really prioritize those really high areas that you need to get done. And then it just kind of works its way down. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if I don't have this right here, I'm, I'm done. Like, yeah. yeah, that's how I do everything. Yeah. I think, I think that's everybody now. Um, <laughs> if we, if we don't have our phone or our computer or whatever, I don't think we can do much of what we're supposed to do today. So um, I think every aspect of every job everything. has something to do with some some type of phone or, or computer. So, yeah. And it's amazing. That's actually made us to have better time management. And, yeah. you know, realistically, I could have been on the Zoom meeting on my phone. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's allowed us, you know, it's like we become pretty obsessive about it. Mm -hmm but it's also allowed us to be more efficient in some ways is yeah. that again, it's nothing for me to go home and start doing work mm -hmm. on my phone. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I appreciate uh, the call and the, the meeting and I appreciate uh, both of you all's time. Uh, it was it was really good. Uh, I kind of learned a little bit about uh, everything, every aspect that I that I needed to know. So I appreciate the time and I appreciate the effort. And um, yeah, it was nice to meet my, uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Brian. Sorry. Yeah, um, nice to meet you too, bud. Thank you. Um, hey, just to yeah, it's kind of just kinda to confirm. Yeah, to too, so. What's that, Mr. Just Dale? to confirm, just to confirm, Brian's recording, and I think he said that the next. Smithfield.